think this should do it. Trying out a new thing where only subscribers can chat in chat. Hopefully you don't mind. Anyway, hello everyone. Hopefully the sound is good. Let's check real quick if this should do it. Kind of sounds alright. I'll just turn up just a little bit. Anyway. Sorry for being late. About a day. It was a busy day yesterday. The moon rabbit sees my face in his dreams. Thoughts on a Ralph documentary? Never. I don't do lol, lol cows. Typically. What's the mirror of Quickville doing today? I've no idea. No one really knows that much. Uh, the last communication from Chris, I believe, was the end of August. Chris sent out a lot of uh, drawings dated from the end from the end week of August to the um, to the to Prater, and they're selling the the uh, the drawings. Uh, having s lots of trouble with bots recently, so I'm doing subscribers only. That's why. I'm 19, not 50s. Will the quickie ever return? Marvin has said that it will return eventually. Um, the host, 1776 hosting, is experiencing DDoSing, and it's bad enough that Marvin can't access the, the quickie and uh, pull everything from the website. So he can then move, move everything to another host. But he will do that. That's the plan, at least. Smash like and don't get too close to your moms. That's right, not me. Glad, glad you could join. Kiwi Farms has been back for a long time, uh, though it has been down for a while as well, which made my uh, research of Part 68 a bit difficult and delayed. So I can't guarantee that Part 68 will be out in a week. It might be a bit later than that. No one, no one sees what Barb is doing. I mean, no one knows what the Barb is doing at the moment. Why was the quickie targeted? I mean, because because they share the same host as the Kiwi Farms, and the Kiwi Farms is like uh, the hardware is hosted somewhere else, so Null can do everything by himself now. Seems like they even made their own in-house DDoS system as well. <laughs> DDoS mitigation. Great, so now Null is even more indestructible. Good job, Keffels. The only thing that will stop Null is if someone murders him, I think. No, Way Wayback Machine has removed some things that people think are disagreeable or, or whatever. Yeah, which, which, which sucks. Anyway. What's my favorite food? Probably a pizza. You missed the quickie, but not the kiwi? I don't get that. It's the same thing. Wait, let me... Let me let me close Blender. Hopefully it doesn't uh, uh, disrupt the stream a bit. Blender's not, not even open. What the hell are you talking about? Anyway, I got a new um, RTX 3060 graphics card. So hopefully this stream can function properly. That's the only reason I got it for only reason that and also operating asset pro so anyway let me close up shop and let's get on with the show which is of course chill quick stream part 13. I imagine it's gonna be like a 70 part series now i'm working on some animations on blender for the next terra nova the white silence documentary about the antarctic expedition uh, which will be up on my Juno Samuel 3 documentary channel. Link in the description below. Will there be a follow up on the Titanic stream? It might be. Um, if you were to make a Juno Samuel 4 account, what would it be? It would be a gaming channel. 
and I and I do strongly <laughs> uh, am am considering that. I mean, I, I did get an RTX 3060, so that helps a lot. Let me just set up my next monitor and let's and let's uh, get started with the show, huh? There is the 2.2 already, actually. Still waiting on your drawings and reason for delay? Uh, did you request drawings? It's either in shipment or if you don't request anything, I don't send anything. I believe that's stipulated. Next episode of the dock is maybe another eight days or so. Um, because of the QB Farms delays, I'm 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 delayed because of the downtime. Anyway, so let's get started right here. Stream Fortnite. I'm not gonna stream Fortnite. So let's get ready, huh? Let me shut down the music and uh, let's let's get on with the show. Uh, this one. There you go. It's a bit of a quiet morning for me. Wait. Wait, it's the wrong thing. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now let's get ready for this. And then... Oh! I didn't mean for this to happen at all. This is, of course, Ch Chikuzen Sato. Sorry about that. Um, he DM'd me on Instagram a while back. And he's asking if I was interested in joining his show, and I did. I, we joined his show. I mean, we watched his show yesterday. Oh, Ward, thank you. So yeah, anyway, we saw the show yesterday, so that, that that's why I was busy. Busy. Never mind. Uh, anyway. Oh, the, I thought I thought that was Christian. Anyway, this is this is my turn over the White Silence Antarctica documentary te teaser trailer. Please check out Gino Samuel Three for more. Subscribe. Man has been so bold like. as to challenge her might, You're interested in that. and even some of the most hardy and equipped have faced her, only to never return. Yada, yada, yada. This is a tale of one such encounter between a band of resilient men and their maker. For more, please check out Geno Samuel 3. Because I'm not going to be uploading any more non-Chris documentaries on this channel. Anyway, let's go back to Chris. Oh, this is this, this is not Chris. This is um This is the This is the radio show from from a while back in which um they just played my own music. Cool. And I also met this guy, and he and, and he showed me his uh, YouTube playlist of, of my songs that I listen to every morning. Sp special love, stereo love. If you're interested in my music, please check out Gino Samuel. Link in the description below. And uh, this is me in the dress. Anyway, let's go back to Christian. Robert Chandler talks about their house, and I'm going to talk about this video. This does not even. Stop it. Hopefully the sound is all right. And let's get cooking. I spent about 10 minutes talking about this particular video. Uh, this was uploaded by Save C C, C Chandler, uh, which is which I believe is Kim Wilson's uh, account. This is where she. Uh, this is where she also posted the uh, Christian W. Chandler house tour videos as well. I, I believe this is a, a backup of it because this is apparently the first video posted. So this, this clearly, oh, these were posted on Chris's channel first and then they were deleted and then she uploaded the backup onto here. And as you can see, this is a very popular video, over a million views, 1,059,000 views. So of course you probably all know about this particular video in which uh, Chris, Chris's parents found out that Chris posted a house tour video a while back on his YouTube channel. And they were pretty upset about it. Asked him to delete it. He deleted it. And and yeah, and then he asked everyone else to delete it as well off the internet because you can probably do that. Whew. So let's uh, let's analyze this video. 
This does not even deserve a captain's log introduction. Hey guys, this is dead serious. So when, so I'm just thinking, if if it has a captain's log introduction, then then he's not really serious about it. I guess is the is the thinking behind this. Um, you can tell it's dead serious because Chris takes off his glasses. I mean that's a that's the thing. Oh, thank you, Sean. If anyone's interested in the official Geno Samuel Discord server, here's the link. Thank you for the link, Sean. I was gonna do that. Anyway, so. It is dead serious because he takes off his glasses and he's wearing his medallion, which uh, is is indicative of him telling the truth and being honest. The inside and outside tour I did a few months ago in my house. Everyone here, my mother and my father are angry at me. Chris's eyebrows are honestly flying off of his forehead. You can see uh, this is this this is how he shows he is serious and emotional about stuff. Because his his eyebrows go like up up to here, honestly. Hey guys, this is dead serious. Boop. <laughs> the inside and outside tour I did a few months ago in my house. Everyone here, today, my mother and my father are angry at me. Yep. They're blaming at me. It's my fault. I admit. It. Well, at least Chris admits that it's his fault. That's nice. It's my fault. I want everything about my house off the internet. Um, I see. So this is, so I, I believe Chris uploaded a video first on his own channel, uh, and it kind of cuts here. There's an, there's an edit and then we get into like the last 10 seconds or so of this, of this video with, uh, with the middle part cut out for some reason. However, first, for some particular reason, I really can't understand why, uh, Chris decided to let in. I believe Kim Wilson, e either Kim Wilson, the troll persona, or another troll persona portrayed by the same troll who, who played Kim Wilson. Hold on, what the hell is happening? Um, so Chris posted that. Um, Chris Chris posted the the full video to Kim Wilson over the email just uh, as for, for some reason just to share the full video because there is a certain certain event that that happened after this moment which we're all all look, looking forward to the first the best appearance of Bob on camera one, one of the only ones as well I'll send in detectives I'll send in police I'll send in everything in my power that get it off the internet listen to me, listen to me. You can see the fear in his eyes. Yes. Listen to me. Yes. Shut that goddamn thing off. And we're still watching it. So, what does Chris shut off? Goddamn thing off. If you look at his face and, and his reflection, it does get dimmer by a bit. Shut that goddamn thing off. You see? He shuts off something, so what I imagine... I mean, of course, Bob is not being too specific enough when he says, shut that goddamn thing off. Meaning that he is... Um, he's being a bit vague, and Chris needs a bit more direction. So, when he points at the at the TV monitor, at the, at the TV screen, saying, shut that goddamn thing off, Chris just turns off the TV, turn, turn, turns off the, the display, which was showing what Chris is filming over his PSI, which does not turn off the PSI, and does not turn off the uh, PlayStation. So he keeps recording, but, you know, he doesn't uh, really understand what Bob is talking about. He just turns off the TV and not the camera, and this is why we, we get the full recording. I don't care what you do. There's also a very good view of, I believe, the wrist warmer or like the um, the sweat sw wrist sweat warmer. I can't remember the names of these things. It's too early in the morning. I didn't finish my coffee yet. But anyway, he he has this in the back. Uh, this is this is to prevent the the thread of his necklace touching his bare skin on the back of his neck because he's a bit sensitive about touch that way. Lots of people saying it's a toilet paper roll, but it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's not. It's a, it's a wrist warmer. I don't care what you do. 
Uh, and is it because of the arrangement of this room? But why does this shot look so staged? Like they, they both have their individual markers where to stand. And, and you see both in basically perfect uh, profile view. Bob on the left and Chris on the right. Like no one's blocking each other. <laughs> and, he, and Bob doesn't talk until he gets into his own position on, on the set. <laughs> Crazy. I don't care what you do. You get all that stuff off of there. Tonight. I'm working on it. Go work on it. I, I guess he's, he's pointing the other way because that's where the family computer is. It's in the kitchen, I believe. Do you realize? Do you realize something? Let me tell you. If the health department of Greene County sees those videos that you put on the damn internet, they could condemn our house and we would have to move out of it. I see. You go get mm. that goddamn stuff off of there and fast. I'm working on it. I was making a YouTube a video for you to tell everybody to get the images off of the internet. It's, oh. it's, it's out of my control. Oh, you get off. <laughs> it's out of my control. Come on. It's out of my control. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. It's like that um, that scene from An Officer and a Gentleman. I got no place else to go. I'm up there, you unload them. And of course, this is of course, uh, displaying Bob's understandable uh in inability to understand what um what uploading and unloading is on the internet. I mean, I can't blame the guy. He's like 80 years old. And I'm pretty sure when I'm 82 years old, I'm also not not going to be with with what whatever the kids are doing these days. You know, it's perfectly understandable. But but of course, it became a meme. And uh, in addition to, I'm working on it. Working on it. Go do it. I am working. I am doing it. I'm sorry. Get in the hair and do it. I, I, I'll I be am... up all night with you if I have to. You can be up all night if you have to. You won't get any sleep for that stuff. Huh? I'm working on it. Get in there and start. I'm working on it. Let me do that stupid video so I can tell everybody in my command to get... And of course, Chris believes that if he commands people to, to do something, they will do it. <laughs> because that's all obviously happened before. Get everything. Help me get everything off the internet Listen, about our house. I don't want to get kicked out of my house by the health department. And what you just did was stick a knife in our back and kill us. That was a... That was... That was tough. That was a tough line. Basically, Chris posting about uh, the family's house situation is like a, like him sticking a knife in the family's back and killing them. Though some might say that Bob would rather not have the video shown instead of doing anything to to clean up the house. I imagine the the hoarding situation was a huge issue from Barbara, and not himself. And he was obviously way too old to deal with her bullshit i believe he's just tired and just really personally i don't think he really cares about his own living situation i mean obviously he's probably a bit bummed out bummed out about it and sad about it and that's why he has his own uh shed in the garden where where he listens to records on on hot summer days to like escape this whole environment but obviously he's he's not gonna fight his wife because she's I mean, maybe he realized by this point that she's completely crazy. I mean, she did, Barbara did threaten suicide uh, whenever Chris wanted to, like, leave and uh, go go to a convention or something. And, of course, she uh, stopped cooking when when uh, Bob and Chris weren't weren't hungry one night. <laughs> it's like, stop cooking forever. So, obviously, she's, she's a bit um, unstable herself. And Bob would not dare to... Uh, cross her all that much so he, he does feel like he's 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 out of out of control and as long as no one finds out about it, he's just gonna continue living mm. living well not necessarily but just continue living all right let me just get that stuff off of there i'm, wor off of there fast. I'm working on it i'm working on and it and turns on the the tv again as you can see so yeah please get everything Though, though he working did. Working on it. I'm working on it. What was, what was that? 
what was that remote that he's holding here? Because first, first he presses something to turn on the TV. All right, let me just get that stuff off of there. I'm working off of there fast. I'm working on it. He, he turned on, on. He turned on. T he turned on the TV, and then he presses something else again. You, you can see the uh, flashing of the of the infrared controller. Uh, if he was controlling the PSI, it would be it, it would be his uh, his PlayStation controller, which is in his left hand. But what is this remote controlling? Does he think that he's turning on the camera again? I'm not sure about that now. So yeah, please get everything off the internet now, 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 now. Epic video. the yes. And now we're done. And now we're done with uh, with one of the most legendary videos from classic Chris Chan. Unfortunately, nothing no, nothing like this has come before or since. I think. Um, yeah, uh, Bob had this cluttered music room somewhere in the house, where where he can even enter. Yeah. So now we're getting into the next videos. It's gonna calm down a bit, I think. It's back in oh, August 2009. Oh, such a cruel love to curse this young, this young lad. So I'm so young, you know. Give me such grief, give me such worry. A Wii All remote. doing is just putting there. It's a moon remote. Put in your own graves, your own hell. It ain't worth it. Give it up. Volume. Quit, quit, quit pretending to be bored. If you're so bored, go do laundry. Go get a job or something. I am working on it. Chris is working on getting a job and doing laundry, I believe. So anyway, yeah, stop it. Y'all are living your own hell as you think. Hello, lights up, bro. So yeah, continue living that. Just when you continue on ridiculing me. Justice will be served. God will see to it. Jesus will be there to help him as well. You'll have to pray for forgiveness. And you'll have to be pretty damn lucky to be able to stay out of hell when you go. Especially the uh, homosexuals. That's a one-way ticket right there. I'm straight, so I'm safe. I thought I thought Chris was saying some other more positive things about the the homosexuals a few a few week, a few months back maybe before this video but now Chris is saying that being homosexual is a one way ticket to hell and Chris is safe because he's straight. So yeah, we're just ignoring you trolls. So forget about it. Forget about it. Quit trying to. Pick on my nerves and cause chaos. Chris makes a video in very much classic Chris fashion, saying that he's uh, he's he's acknowledging the trolls by saying how much he is ignoring the trolls. He makes a video talking to the trolls by ignoring them. It's not worth it. God bless the uh, holy and the true, mm. but yet the uh, accursed are those that dare to mock others and ridicule them. Mm. Peace to the good, curse to the bad. Yep. Okay, so this is August 30th, 2009. I believe this was a ingenious scheme. I think it was concocted by Chris because honestly, the trolls would never come up with something this ridiculous. Uh, so this is an, another insight into how Chris views identity and names. He kind of sees himself as a Pokemon. You know how uh, Pokemon creatures have like three states of evolution. You know, you have a Pichu, and then it turns into a Pikachu, and then then it turns then it turns into a Raichu. I believe. I don't play the 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 Pokemon, so I can't really say for sh for sure. But you know, Chris is quite uh, uh, comfortable with the whole Pokemon lore, I believe. And Chris sees himself as kind of uh, evolving through through different states. And even though it's the same creature, 
it, it has a distinct look and a personality and powers. So here, Chris, uh, according to the, for the troll's amusement, or I mean for the, in order for the trolls to, to believe that Chris is a more normal functioning guy and uh, his actions are not his own, uh, he tries to convince them that he's being possessed like he has an alternate personality or um, basically Christopher Weston Chandler, who is the original form of this person who, who uh, ceased to be <laughs> in around uh, when he was like nine or 10 years old is now being possessed by is, 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 is possessing Christian's body. So now Christian is fighting against Christopher and, um, and then even later on, we'll find out that when Chris is is portraying himself as a troll under the Jenkins Jinkies persona, uh, he says to the trolls that the house is haunted by the ghost of the young Christopher Weston Chandler, uh, which is indicative of him thinking and believing that Christopher and Christian are it's like separate beings. And I, I think is the same when Chris later transitions into into uh, Christine and sees Christian as his own as his own person, and then Christine as her as her new form, as her new self. Captain's log, start date August thirtieth, two thousand nine. I just wish to uh, report that amongst the. Uh things that we have received. We have received no boxes, contrary to belief of one troll that has been leaving messages about such. I believe it was probably either in the in the original channel, Geno Samuel 2, or, or or something here on this channel. I think the the boxes person actually commented and say, oh it was me. Or 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 maybe it was an email or a Twitter DM. Bas basically saying that they were sending boxes or or saying that they send boxes or I can't remember. The we have received thing. no boxes because we have a five. But again, no one outside of this one person probably knows what the hell Chris is talking about. So Chris just uploads a video and maybe the the hundreds or the thousands of people who are watching Chris's, Chris's antics at this point just hear Chris ra rambling on about boxes for some reason and no one really knows what the hell is happening the USPS and the UPS to stop sending them to us at plus that Ian Brandon Anderson or Ian anybody does not live here. No way by the name of Ian lives here. So you may as well just give up and quit your stupid game. Mm. Anyway, on another, anyway, on another note, as a troll you should be good then the home. Your troll? He's as much my troll as he is your troll! You're right, Christopher, but yet uh, I'm addressing him I as much. I see, possession. My own. Ah, oh, come off it, Christian. You're always becoming so much popular. You only made me popular because you brought my name onto the scenery. Christopher, calm down. I like he had. At, at least Chris had the foresight to take off his own glasses before he punches himself. Uh, let Let's see how hard was that punch. You brought my name onto the scenery. Christopher. What was that smack sound? Popular because you brought my name onto the scenery. Was that actually the sound of his of his punch? Because it kind of sounds like he's his cheek is made of plywood. Christopher, calm down. No, you calm down, man. At least the psychiatrist is able to decipher that both of us are living in the same body. Come on, man. We've been friends before. You don't need to be doing this. They've been friends before. <laughs> okay, so. So Chris is acknowledging that this split personality thing has been going on for a long time and that Christian and Christopher were friendly for a while. By the camera. I'm on yourself. I wanted to let my voice come out and ever since the, I, ever since the name change, I've been stuck in the back of your head for a long time. Hmm. Yes, but at least a psychiatrist has allowed you to come back into the frontal being. Even though it was like... The frontal being. A whole bunch of confusion during the time as well. Yeah, that was like years ago we saw the psychiatrist. This is the worst exposition ever. You know, if they were actually having this conversation, they would know when they saw the psychiatrist last and all these conversations that, that they had before. But of course, you know, this is Psycho 1960. <clears throat> yeah. 
I've seen honestly, I've seen some movies with worse exposition dialogue than this. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man Two comes to mind when um, Harry Osborn meets his father there in his deathbed and says, "You sent me to boarding school," and like they all know that, but the audience doesn't know that, so that's why you have to talk like that. Yep. Anyway, just call us Chris. Just call us Chris. Sp speaking of just call us Chris, I'm kind of surprised by the amount of comments I'm getting um, from people who criticize me for misgendering Chris by calling her Chris. I'm surprised that we've never heard of or m met a Christine in real life who didn't mind being called Chris because Chris is just short for Christine. Captain's Log, start date September 4th, 2009. Hmm. Uh, couple of, uh, yeah, a couple of issues. Firstly, I wish to uh, extend my father's gratitude for the present apparently you ordered for him. Oh, it's September 4th. It's uh, Bob's birthday. 2009, I believe it's uh, then he would be 84. No, uh, 82. I think he died when he was 84. So yeah, uh, Vivian G sent Bob a present. And uh, delivered to us Miss Vivian. So thank you for that. But still, it does not excuse you for what you have done to me. You have made a mockery out of me. You made you behind my back made the stupid audio books. And you're a, and uh, you're a tr and uh, you're a troll of a troll. As a matter of fact, hey, what? Curtis Clown, Clyde Cash, Clyde Cash is Vivian's cousin. The f the familiar co the familial connection is uh, very much on purpose because Clyde Cash and Vivian G are more than related. They're in fact the same person. So the the troll behind the Clyde Cash persona first contacted Chris under the Vivian G persona in the emails. Uh, trying to make Chris better himself and uh, ex exploding at him through the emails, saying it's like talking to a brick wall. And then she, and then I think it was during the the mumble chats that Vivian Jeep first mentioned to Chris about a certain Ryan Cash, who uh, killed himself because Chris stopped making Sancho comics because of the trolls' pressure. And this is how. This troll created the Clyde Cash persona, the uh, vengeful brother of the deceased Ryan Cash. And if you look at the at the mumble chats, you never see Vivian G and Clyde Cash at the same time. Or was it Sebastian is dead? Kim was Emily. And we and we all know what he did to me, son of a bitch. But anyway, Vivian is just about as, as deep as he is. Cause she she is no different. Cause she among those trolls slandered and mocked my good name, especially in what in her videos that she did against me. <sighs> so, you know what? Equivalent to Clyde Fash, equivalent to Vivian G. Uh, anyway, camera. look, Vivian, if you really want to get back on my good side, you'll close your YouTube account, make sh and make sure all videos are deleted, and never ever ever upload them or make any money off of them ever again if you really want to earn back my trust you'll close your youtube account after deleting every last one of your videos delete all your videos close your youtube then maybe i'll let you be back in my good graces and i'll block your email address from my aol oh that's nice <sighs> still curse you that's not nice. Because you have done, you and between you and Clyde Cash, you both have done so much bad against me. Again? Anyway, I'll what the hell was that? <laughs> you see that that feather falling from the sky? What the hell is that? Anyway, also. What the hell was that? Stop sending us the dang. Is that like some down from junk. from inside a clown? We're shipping them right back. But make, or make sure they get sent to the dead letter office if they cannot be sent back. So you trolls, man, so just stop it. 
and you can stop the incoming calls because I'm just going to ignore you and delete your voicemails. I have information. I think you said she. I know your trolls just by talking like that. Ah, so Chris is wising up. And if he reads an email saying, you're so sexy, then he knows that it's a troll. Also, why was he aggressively rubbing his um, his right teeth like that? I think you said she. Is, is that supposed to be a sexual gesture or is that just guitar playing? Can't tell. I know your trolls just by talking like that. So you may as well just shut the fuck up. Holy shit. Uh, for the rest of our buddy, Fuck. who is uh, honest, true, and good. Peace and have a good day. Sign destruction video. So this is the sign that was posted on on Chris's lawn. I believe it was 2008. Halloween 2008 was, I believe, when this was uh, um, placed in his front lawn by... I believe Marvin and Emily. <clears throat> I think I think it was the uh, two of them who did this. It's like uh, uh, cur courtesy of Encyclopedia Dramatica, and there's like lots of pickle drawings on it as well. And uh, this is a great view of the short sleeve classic number. Hmm. Apparently, my uh, heat of warning towards Vivian has gone unheard, or otherwise she did not realize the fury of my wrath. And she has done a terrible deed. So, let's begin with a visual aid. Visual aid? Stop me if you have not seen this before. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Encyclopedia Dramatica, Jimmy Hill. So, yeah, I think this was from 2008. And I think there's a man in pickle suit drawing right, right here. Yeah. Now watch what I do to this, as I will do to Vivian G if she does not take down every last one of her videos and closes her YouTube account. It's gonna grab her legs and rip her in half. Holy shit, that's kind of aggressive. Also, why why did he keep it for a year? I don't get. I don't get it. For Clyde Cash too, every last one of his family members, including his chlamydia. <laughs> For Clyde Cash and each and every every one of his family members, including his chlamydia. There you go. Stab that clown. <laughs> Fucking ripped his head off. <laughs> I think it was his hat. <laughs> Jump scare, Jesus. Here's that My Scrum mouth again. He really does look like My Scrum from this angle. His scream was so loud and so close to the PSI microphone that it was really peaky and distorted. It was great. Anyway, uh, bloody tears. I guess we're, we're back to playing Guitar Hero. Captain's Log, 91009. I have received, I have recently received a phone call on the home phone uh, from a person that's supposedly of the uh, PlayStation magazine in Europe. Uh, the call came restricted, did not leave a callback number, did not call back later. Uh. So, she's assumed troll. It was a woman in the UK who pretended to be from the PlayMag, PlayStation magazine, uh, doing a little report on Chris. Uh, Chris first had his father uh, vet the caller and ask some question about it, I believe, and see if she's true and honest. And uh, she was actually uh, suffering with the swine flu at the time. A little bit of the call is featured in this documentary, I think part 17 or so. So he's referring to that. I mean, if you, I mean, I, if I, I mean, I would believe I was going to be interviewed for real for a magazine. Instead of a fake interview, I would believe it if Veronica Belmont, a PlayStation Corp, personally came to the front door of my house here I in Rockville, Virginia, likes Veronica Belmont. and asked me, and personally asked me to for an interview. I would gladly accept that. But anyway, Veronica, if you're watching this, you're doing an awesome job on Corp. Keep it up. 
hmm. really enjoyed, you know, being, you, I mean, that was so cool, you know, you became an honorary gamer girl, I think it was. Honorary the, the gamer girl. Shirt, I remember that. And all the other memorable moments since, you know, episode one. And also, I liked your recent interview with Jay Leno, that was good. And also, I know you love Little Big Planet, so, you know, I got a few levels up there in my PlayStation ID assigned to you. Thanks again for adding me as a friend. You know, accepting my request. Veronica Belmont accepted his request? So anyway, uh, with I think, that... I, th I, think, I think I missed a bit. I'll uh, leave everybody in peace to know that uh, I'm onto your... Uh, the, uh, the trolls, I'm onto your game. I know you're... You know you're... No, no. It wasn't Veronica who was talking to Chris over the phone. No, he's, he's talking about a real person called Veronica Belmont. She was like a gamer girl. But <laughs> quote, interviews would be false. So therefore, back off. And back off on everything else you're trolling doing because you're still trolling stupid. Peace to everybody else. Curse to the trolls. Uh, I don't know if it's a forbidden topic, but apparently some commenter on the last video said you will not discuss ILJ when they come into the store. Ask their source no reply. Big surprise because it's there is no source. Uh, I will talk about ILJ. Isabella Loretta Jank. To hell with her... CIA father and um, his his threats. I didn't get any, by the way, yet. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so uh, at this time, Vivian G was uploading the Sonic Chu um, video books or audio books. No, they were video books. It was like animated versions of the Sonic Chu comics, narrated and uh, with uh, added effects and the music as well. So Chris decided to counter that with the Sonic Chu official video books. And I'm not going to go through these. I'm just going to show you a little taster, and then I'm going to skip all of them because that's going to take up way too much time. So he uploaded everything up to that point that was available, I believe, because he really wanted to get back at Vivian G and make his own version of, of what she was doing. And they're... They're, they're, Hello, they're, they're you should pretty know me good, by now. I'd this say. is Christian Weston Chandler here. And I'm sitting is it back janky or janky? I'm about to start off. I don't, my I don't own know how to pronounce of the, your uh, name. Audio books, the official audio books. Vivian is a hack when it comes to these. So I'm going to show you how it's really done. But anyway, just to make it clear, you know, any names, persons, illustrating any of the comic books except that of me that may seem serious to anyone, real or fictitious, are purely coincidental or otherwise parodic. So anyway, let's begin. The, co the cover for book number zero. Yeah, the hand-drawn premiere issue. Go, Sonic you. Go out and zap to this stream. I will. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And we're just going to keep on going with the page flipping. At janky? Point, is, so is, is Janky? Janky or Jank? Episode one, Sonic Yanka. Absorption. Our story begins in an Yanka. open field five miles from the city of Station so Square, like, which is under siege by the perfect chaos monster. It's a European While Sonic Jay. the Hedgehog ponders Yankee. over the destruction, a wild Yanka. male Pikachu takes notice of the far off I'll destruction. Pika? Hmm. Hmm. I am Christian Weston Chandler, hmm. Sancho's creator and. Hey, there is no hmm in here. Hmm, I am Christian. The author of this comic series and this story. And this is his story? And nothing less. Meanwhile, Janky, apparently. Okay. Isabella Janky. Ouch. About fifteen miles away. There's a girl right you. And she gets hit. Hit by the chaotic rainbow that... Uh, did Chris forget to color these panels? Anyway. So we're going to skip this one. Uh, and move on to this one. Which is a video which Chris recorded uh, during this during this re recording session. Uh, so Chris had... Was this, a, was this a PSI or was this a different camera? But he did have it on a tripod. And the next video, he doesn't take off his camera off his tripod and he's like, like turns it around to face himself and he's holding the tripod. And it's almost like a selfie stick. And it looks really cool. 
It's like one of my favorite videos from Chris. It's on September 13th, 2009. Okay, you're rocking it again. Before we begin this next installment of the video book series, let's turn to me for a moment. Because I have a couple of brief announcements. Oh, he like, has a microphone too. This is like so cool. Num like, number one, the, uh, s the stores that on the internet that are selling quote unquote merchandise, it's not official. It's not real. You're being scammed. You may as well throw it in the garbage, burn it, return it. Burn it, if you return buy it. it. You're, not only are you aiding and abetting that criminal, you're being scammed. This is an, an, another person troll who decided to create a fake Sonnetry merchandise site or videos. And Chris is, of course, upset about this. Scammed yourself. And also, Project Neon knows I have been I have talked with Sega of America, and they have verified for me that it is a full-fledged Sonic the Hedgehog game, not a Sonic you game. He talked to what? Knows I have been I have talked with Sega of America. He's talked with Sega of America, and they have verified for me that it is a full-fledged Sonic the Hedgehog game, uh -huh. not a Sonic you game. And besides, 2D, I mean. Sonic Shoes Adventure. I mean, I got so many more story arcs in there that meets the eye. I mean, yes, multiple character switches, and I have all the story plots. I'm, I'm, I have all the story plots in my head and on paper. On paper. Which you can buy at uh, Walmart. Um, 500 sheets for $5. Including, like, you know, hey, whatever happened to Wild Sonic Shoes Scyther Father? He gets kidnapped a long time ago. You know? He gets kidnapped a long time ago. Maybe I'm not in tune with the with the whole Sancho storyline. Maybe it's like a, a a time travel thing. Oh, no, he gets kidnapped, and then Sancho, a wild Sancho, actually goes and find him. And Bubbles is on her way to an amusement park. Well, uh, a goes to defend her church. Bunchy is out to her new challenge, and Magic Chan, I'm not sure about him yet. And Sancho is just out to is out for a challenge that Scyther he's a, he's father. accepted a challenge from from Mel no, he, Sancho. he got a mic and a tripod. As it would appear in the beginning of the books beyond number eleven, number eleven, huh? the stories would begin beyond from book number eleven, and nobody has those stories. Only I have those stories. So no video game can ever be created without my own power, my own will, my own super, my own. <laughs> I love that. My own shwill. Be created without my own power. My own shwill. My own super... My own... Honest to goodness supervision. Supervision. <laughs> I love this. So, take it, so, take it for just holding real. I am the real deal. I am Christian Weston Chandler. Alias Christopher. And nobody can ever impersonate me for real. Or even my hand drawing style, and everything that you would get, that they can obviously put, is they could get, is they're getting it only off the internet. It's not original hand draw. It's not original hand drawing. I like all the airplanes I mean, does hanging that look off like his a roof. Out to you? No, it's a hand drawing. It's the original hand drawing of the back cover I constantly used. Yep. Among all the other hand drawings. I love this. On my shelf. Whoa. In my binders. Whoa. In this room. Whoa. In this house. So get with the program, people. Also, I like this uh, video because it shows off different angles of Chris's room that you usually do not see in this era. Like that corner right there next to the window. Like you never saw that before. And also, all videos that are currently on YouTube that may say, con that may say the contrary about the video game rumors they about them being true but when they're in reality false the oh. damn, rumors, damn rumors i mean i have read on forums.encyclopediadramatica.com that's right i know it damn trolls i, I read, read your, your lines. lines and i know that you're pixelating fake game screenshots and images and videos you're so busted you're, You're so busted. busted. And you are in the wrong, and you will be damned to hell. Especially you, Vivian G. Oh. D, Vivian G. D. D. Just like Sideshow Bob would say to Bart in that one episode that he had on this front side. 
course, this is a reference to the Simpson episode where Citro Bob wants to kill Bart Simpson, and he has a tattoo on his chest saying "Die, Bart, die," and his defense is that it's actually uh, German. It's actually D Bart D, which which means the Bart the. So Chris is, a, is is referencing that moment for this Vivian G threat, which means obviously that Chris understands what Citra Bob actually meant. So which means that Chris wants Vivian G to die. Anyway, aside from all that, I repeat, do not buy anything off the off the uh, websites. You are being scammed. There's no Sancho video game yet. The and you, and, Not yet. And also, and any all official updates about when the official merchandise will be officially released under my own power and supervision, as well as the video game's creation, will be posted on the, on the original official Sancho site, which is also known as Wikipedia. <laughs> Hello, Barbara. How are you? <laughs> we'll be back. I love this. Uh, please don't dox. I can't re even read this. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're okay. Um, so the Wikipedia that was up at this point was was created because Chris tried to make his own Wikipedia page, but they took it down. And um, so then the trolls created for Chris. The Wikipedia, which is a website where Chris can write about his own life and his own lore and his own comic books. So Chris had access to the Wikipedia and he edited it himself. But then the trolls also had access to it. So in case they wanted to play around and make Chris angry, they also changed some stuff later, especially uh, during the Alec Benson Leary saga and vandalized it later. So yes, Barbara Chandler comes comes in at the very end of the, of the video, I think. I think she said, hey, sweetie, just check in to see if you're home. And then Chris was being very pro professional about it and said, we're going to be back in a minute. Wikipedia. We'll be back in a moment. And we're going to skip the the audiobooks one more time. I'm going to skip to when they're not here anymore. Okay. Kentucky Derby. I'm not quite sure what this is, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, apparently, I'm a bit rusty on my on my Christian lore, ironically enough, because I don't think about Christian all that much. Smiley face. The audio is terrible. Okay. But I know why. I know, I know exactly why you can't hear very much in here. It's because when Chris was recording the audiobooks, Chris, what the hell happened? 239. Um, Chris had his mic hooked up to the, to the camera, and the audio was being captured by the microphone. Like, hey, are you okay? Mm, yeah, Chris is holding I, the microphone I think so. And, uh, sp speaking oh, thank into the it. Lord. So with that microphone, you have to be pretty close to it in order to hear something. But then, when Chris switches to, to his old layout here, the mic is still hooked in. It's probably like on the floor somewhere. And still pick, picking up his audio, and that's why it's so, it's so low. Pull the nerve, apparently. Let's just try to strain our ears. You. you live in Kentucky. You go to an elementary school. You're not the bottom whiny little brat. <laughs> anyway, anybody who, kn who knows this, who knows this person, Apparently, knows Chris has been fed school. wrong information My and thinks that Clyde Cash is an elementary school student in Kentucky. Knows this person or has seen him, please report him to the Frankfurt, Kentucky police immediately. And it wants to be reported to the police. Little, you're a whiny little nuisance of a brat. Give it up. He said, "Everybody else, curse to the Greg Mays child." Curse the child. Oh well. Get this log. Okay. Start date September nineteenth, two thousand nine. Right, Mike. Mm. Now. 
they please ignore the uh, mess behind me because you know I just use this card table for making my video books upon I just finished doing the video book for video books for book number eight. This is an interesting uh, layout, which we don't really see. Why is the camera in, in, a, in a different place now? It's like a wider angle of the room. Anyway, uh, I'm making this video to let everybody know that this uh, account, YouTube account user, uh, one word, Chris W. Chandler, he's a fake, he's an imposter. Do Fraud, not believe phony. him and his imposterous imitation merchandise, quote unquote merchandise. It's all slipshod and fake. Do not buy into him, okay? I can tell. I, I tell you this off the bat. I have. I have no. I have nothing to do with him. And you know, I keep getting the uh, emails about the door is open. Emails, actually. you know. Uh, it's, it's kind yeah, of a rare sight. This is basically like you know, yeah, he's scamming y'all. Everybody, y'all who's uh, bought anything from there. Don't oh, buy anymore, it's the it's the Zelda Triforce there. mobile that above guy his head. Is an imposter. It's kind of cool. He's a scammer. He's a fraud. So, just don't buy a damn any, anymore. Okay. Thank you. Peace. Cool. Maybe these videos should be the opposite way around. Definitely. Because Chris, Chris had his setup made for the, the, the video books here. So, before he changed it, hold on. Oh, it's, it's uh, this one. Right, right here. Wait, 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 wait. Huh? Oh. I'm signed into the wrong account here. Anyway, let's just refresh. And let, let's let's get out of cinema mode. Get out of here. Get 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 go. Go on and get. I huh? Default. Okay, there you go. Are we? Okay, there we go. I thought we were gonna be silent again. Two hundred. Oh my God! There's just. Why was I met with like bare chested Chris there for for a little second? Okay, let's move. Let's move it over here, and there you go. Now we fix it. Now let's go to the illegal guy. The illegal guy video. Star date September twenty fifth, two thousand nine. I wish to uh, elaborate to everybody on the internet and now everybody in my Sancho knows you feel fan base. The true, only, sole, legitimate, official websites for Sancho Rocio and everything of that sort are Wikipedia. And this, the Christian W. Chandler YouTube page that yep. this video originated from. Now, this uh, web, uh, this uh, Chris W. Chandler YouTube guy, he's an imposter. He's selling fake merchandise. Do not buy from him whatsoever. It's not official. And you are and you are aiding and abetting an illegal guy, a guy who is committing an illegal fraud, guy, a scam artist, con artist. I like this is a new addition, I'm, I believe, to the room. It's an Uncharted 2 poster, I believe. Do not buy into him. Completely ignore him. And also, this uh, google.com slash cw, I mean, this google.com slash science site, that's not mine either. That is a fake website. And this uh, hot chocolate comic I've heard about through the emails, that is not mine hot either. Chocolate. So disregard that website. Hot chocolate. Forget about it because that's a fake. Somebody else did that behind my back. Okay. Anyway, I am continuing work on the on my on the on, on my original pages. Funny how every time Chris started, uh, so the I'm camera started too. And I'm doing it one moment at a time. I just like y'all know that. Okay. Peace out and have a good day. Okay, we're into the. Catch this log. Start date April 12, two thousand nine. Let's uh, sort of April 12, 2009. This this should not be here. <laughs> Why do you keep going back to Shirtless Chris? I don't want to see that anymore. This is definitely not all right. Oh, Family Man. Ah, oh, this is the um, this is the the funny comics area. Yeah, this is completely wrong. So let's. What the hell? This is not even. What the hell is happening? I. What the. Anyway, let's just go back to here. Don't sweat it. I don't know what the hell that was. It's not even in the playlist. Catch's log, start date, September 29th, 2009. Long playlists are incredibly difficult to manage on YouTube. Fuck. Anyway. Let's get a few things straight here. Hmm. I uh, would like to propose and put, move forward the supposed copyright ceiling. 
which I am here to prove that it is false. Daytime. Because, you know, that is only an image you can type anything in. Kind of a rare look. It look like whatever in Photoshop. And also, this Greg Mays, I know for a fact that this guy is Clyde Cash, or the past character of Clyde Cash. Yes, Clyde Cash was also Greg Mays, and also Miyamoto, and also Reggie Phils Ime. Because Clyde Cash used the Greg Mays at gmail.com email address. Don't sweat it, you're right, fuck. How, how hot is it in there? Address to pretend to be a Greg Mays. And to help. as you can see, I think Chris puts in um, special efforts to put the uh, the thread or the uh, the beads of the necklace over his shirt so it doesn't touch his skin. Some sort of video game company or something, but he later admitted that he was Clyde Cash. But anyway, I did I did my web searches and all that of Clyde Cash and Craig Mays. Uh, he was also Jay Zilberstein, uh, yes. Pictures and whatnot. There is no record whatsoever of this Greg Mays or Clyde Cash. I even on any of the uh, addresses or birth dates that they provided that this guy has provided in any form or matter from when he, from communication or hacking or whatever. This. Greg Mays and Clyde Cash, this guy, be acting as either one of those guys, Greg Mays and Clyde Cash were, are and were both fake. They're non-existent. Is, just like in is the Virginia acting, South? Just like in, on the TV, on the, just like TV actors, and not, I like these, uh, these following people. And just like Greg Mays and Clyde Cash, they're about as fake and fictional as Elaine Bennis from Seinfeld. Elaine Chandler from, from Friends, Monica from Friends, or Phoebe, or even Archie Bunker from All in the Fan. So, so Joey, Ross, and Rachel are real? Come on, Chris. Keep up with your nonsense. Family. Fred Sanford on Sanford and Son, and George Jefferson on The Jeffersons. I would like to reiterate that I like those actors and, and the characters they portray. Hmm. But, I, I mean, I have yet to see this guy actually show his face this is gonna be the last video. in real life ever showing off his photo id with his name either be, either being greg mays or clyde cash or whatever the whatever his real name is the one that his mother gave to him at birth and i even throw in the question about him ever actually going out to australia and having his and having his forced way with my past, an Australian gal pal who died in the Australian breast fires. Well, I mean, she, she obviously didn't die, I guess. I don't think Chris can keep the uh, fake troll stories straight. <laughs> uh, Virginia is southern in culture. Geographically, it is in the middle. Interesting. Um, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so according to Clyde Cash's story, he uh, went over to... Oh, no! Oh, this was before the 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 brush fire. Clyde Cash traveled to Australia and draped uh, Panda Halo, and then and then Chris was like, "Oh, damn! You shouldn't have done that." <laughs> I mean, there's. I mean, if this guy never existed, he never went to Australia. I don't. I don't think he even said that. I, I think so. Hmm. I see. Oh yeah. Even Robert Simmons claimed to have gone there and witnessed the whole thing. Robert Simmons claimed to. Go to Australia as well and see Clyde Cash rape Panda Halo. And actually, Chris did meet Robert Simmons the Fifth in person. And he was a proven troll. So therefore, I, per I further emphasize the fact that this Greg Mays is a fake, a fraud, a phony. We're not even come at. We're just hide behind Fs. his mother's fake skirt. Fake fraud, a phony. We never dare to show his real life face or show who he actually was. And I also question his relation to the biatch troll Vivian G. I question that. Oh, and another thing, about as fake as every last one of those supposed pieces of merchandise on that quote-unquote science store. Mm. Even the DVD. I have heard rumors about even, even past vicious content being copied on a DVD, aside from the printed list on the back of the DVD. And you know what? 
you got less than what you bargained for, the first guy who got a copy of my DVD. Even though all that stuff was real, I have the director's cut, the one and only director's cut. And what, it, what how it differs from the distributed copies, from the only distributed the director's copy. cut has the videos from my family's Christmas, 2004. H22, December 25th, 2004. And also even the first PS, Pixelated PS3 attempts, where I had the Lego PS3, Lego and Pizza Block PS3. He's, he's, he still has the, the, the Lego and, P, and Pizza Block PS3 after seven years? And I actually had it Six hooked, years. Had hooked up a, 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 a um, makeshift Lego PSP, the US, PS2, the USB connector, you know, like uh, to connect a PS2 controller to a PS3 console. And I hooked up my Guitar Hero, my guitar, my PS2 guitar to it, and I actually played Thunder Horse. For today, well, well, this is what's shown. I was actually playing on the, my original PS2. How devious and clever and creative. That and more photographs, more stuff in the slideshow differs from the distributed copies that were distributed amongst family and whatever, and what this guy got is only on the director's cut. Read it yourself. I like the Lego quick. Um, so yes, some people actually doubt it, the existence of the director's cut until 2014, I believe, when Chris went on a date with Catherine and her cousin Al, Big Al. Um, that was proven to be true, actually, because Christine uh, gave uh, Catherine the director's cut DVD, and then she leaked it onto the QB forms. So it's kind of amazing that even back to like 2014, which was only eight years ago, they were still getting fresh new, new old videos from 2002 and 2003, 2004. St still being leaked, so there's always hope of of some hidden away lost media from Chris that might show up eventually, in some form. Read for yourself. Title eleven: The Family Christmas, and title thirteen: The, fir the pr first PS3 attempts. Look on the back of uh, look at the back image of the uh, distributed DVD. You'll see what I'm talking about. And you know what? It don't even have that nice little label on it. Or the list of family members and relatives. Or even the horoscope from the, my 25th birthday, February 24, 2007. So, <laughs> <laughs> y'all didn't get as much as you got, you dang dirty trolls. I love cocky, Chris. <laughs> you didn't get as much as you got. <laughs> Y'all didn't get as much as you got, you dang dirty trolls. Y'all didn't get, get all the stuff that was originally on the DVD. Damn. Because you did not get the director's cut. Damn it, you should have gotten, gotten the anyway. director's cut. And, anyone has ever seen the director's cut of Dances with Wolves? That's a really good movie in general. But, like, the director's cut, the director's cut is so much longer. Like it, Like, it has the whole, like deer mutilation scene or, or no it was a horse actually and like um the body parts of the horse and stuff stuff like that it was juicy stuff it was like half an hour longer or so it's like four hours long it's a great movie holy shit i just want to see it again if i ever have the chance to uh to uh, see some recreational media but yeah it's good stuff you should probably get the director's cut in most cases sanchez copyright is still mine it's still mine, and I have officially registered it. And I reiterate, this Greg Mays, Clyde Cash, whoever he is, he is a fake. I dare him, and I challenge this individual who, pl who plays these characters to actually come out to my home address and, re and show and reveal and show him and prove himself to me for being whoever he is. And I know it's the same guy because I heard his voice recently on the telephone and recognized it from the past times when I talked to quote unquote Clyde Cash on the phone. That so Chris apparently recognizes voices now. High pitched 
drunk, whiny, nasally voice of his. High pitched, drunk, high nasally voice of his, not mine. I, I completely Same missed uh, Chris's naked belly. Voice. I, re I remember it so well. Alright, wait, wait. I'll leave you with all that. And I am still How drawing the pages for, for the number nine. So it's like book. October there. No? And I'm working on the number 10 book as well. So. Oh. Only from me, Christian Weston Chandler. Nice. First name, Christopher of Rutgersville, Virginia, USA. Nice. And also, I would like to reference the public disclaimer video, also on my youth on this my or with my official and my official YouTube account, and everything signed to and rose to officially is on the Wikipedia, aka the original CWC's signed to site, also known as signed to and rose to site. All other websites aside from this YouTube and the Wikipedia are false. One thing I gotta say for, um, for Chris, is that he was very confident in front of the camera, and um, despite all the occasional stutters and misquotes, Chris spoke a lot, and didn't need time to think about what what he was talking about. Maybe that was his his mistake in the in the long run, because I can definitely not talk this long for eight minutes so smoothly, unfortunately. So that's why I have to um. I have to edit out lots of thinking pauses and stutters and stuff like that. So, kudos to Chris. Maybe the more self-awareness you have, the harder it is. Peace out and have a safe day. And let's stop it there. Big AIDS in Little China. Okay, that's a that's a okay. It's a very in inappropriate title right there, and I I doubt this is Chris's. Anyway, let's get on to. The conclusion, the conclusion of the show. I'm, st I'm still a bit sleepy, actually. Got back quite late last night because of the concert. Talking this much for eight minutes without editing? Nuts to think about. I know, right? I'm not American, though I'm kind of close. It's like he scripts it, but during his phone calls, he's, the speaking skills are damn near not, non-existent. It's because when he's talking with somebody, he needs to think about their responses. But like, if Chris doesn't need to address like new information all the time, then it's really smooth. If it's just his own head, then it's, he can talk a lot. Anyways, this is about the end of the show. I do kind of like talking head, not talking heads not everything but I did like a lot of it thank you for the stream thank you for joining uh, I saw Chikazen Sato line cube Shibuya he got me tickets he DM'd me a couple of months ago <laughs> we're, 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 we're Facebook friends as well um, has it been hard making the dog with Kiwi Farms being yeeted it has been not yeeted it has been online for about two weeks now. Everything's going great. Um, though it did it did um, put, put a damper on my research. So I couldn't get a chance to do all that much for like a week or two. So I doubt that part 68 will be ready for next weekend. I think it's gonna be a bit later than that. It's probably gonna be on an, on an off day, maybe, maybe a weekday. I'm not gonna wait uh, five weeks then b between episodes. Uh, if I get done like on Tuesday or something, I'm gonna upload on Tuesday or uh, Wednesday. I'm not gonna wait for a Saturday like uh, like every other time. Unfortunately, it's been a, it's been a bit difficult. I like the music playing in the, in the background. Thank you. It's my my music. I've heard of Michael Franks, and I really like Michael Franks from what I've heard. He looks like uh, Frank Zappa, but does not sound like Frank Zappa. I don't. Again, who said that I have a quickie archive? I don't. <laughs> archive.org have a quickie archive apparently it's not up to date but it's good enough anyone can access it if you're all interested in Gino content I make uh, G Giovanni right there one of my mods makes a series of Gino out of context on streams I have another episode coming out tomorrow check it out if you're inclined to love heart 
Yes. Anyway, thanks for everyone joining. Um, I don't celebrate Halloween that much. I just dressed up once, I believe, in my entire life, at least in my in my recent years. Um, I was dressed up as a sexy black cat and went to Shibuya. It was like about four, no, five years ago, maybe, or six. And how many streams do you think will be left from the playlist? About 60, maybe? I don't know. New music? Hopefully this year. Uh, if you're interested in music, please check out my Gino Samuel channel on YouTube. Uh, link down below. And if you're interested in documentaries from me that are not about Christian, Gino Samuel 3 is the place to go. Please like and subscribe. And where's this room doing? I mean, I'm just, um, yeah, 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 it's just to watch old clips, basically. And, um, yeah, because the Kiwi performance was down for, for a while, I was working a lot more on the Terra Nova documentary and also almost finished up the Sentinel Island documentary as well. The uh, script for, for it, I mean, uh, which I'll probably release before the, the Terra Nova doc is finished. And if you're interested in hiring me for some voiceover work, either as a as a joke, as a as a thing between friends, or for a YouTube video, or for a Twitch stream, whatever you might you, you might like, or YouTube video, um, I have a Fiverr linked down below as well, so you can have me do the Christian documentary voice for anything you like. Did some stuff recently about um, people want, want wanting to have sex with like Sonic the Hedgehog and. Um, and uh, Amy Rose and um, and uh, yeah, some steamy stuff. It's been a lot, lots of fun recording. Any merch, physical or digital? I do have digital merch in the form of music. Uh, my band camp is linked down below if you're not into that. I'm also available on Apple Music and Spotify and any other kind of download and streaming site that you wish for. Apart from that, that's about it. So thanks again for joining me, and I hope to see you again sometime soon, maybe in about two weeks. Um, next, part 68 will probably be uh, within these two weeks. Yes, I will be yelling things in all caps, exactly the same as the Christian script. Unless you specify otherwise, of course. So anyway, thanks again for watching, and hope you have a nice time from now on until the next time. Stay safe and have a good day. Good week, good month, good year. Thanks again for all your support. And bye-bye. Uh, Thanks again for now. Bye-bye. Don't drive home drunk. Bye-bye. Do I really have to wait until it's uh, until it reaches the atonic? Board. Well, let's just skip ahead. Good enough. Bye bye.